Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Laravel 5.8 with View.js series and in this video we are going to uninstall uh, Node.js, okay? So uh, at times uh, we might require to uninstall Node.js or NPM, uh, but uh, View.js uh, we are not going to uninstall, but Node.js we can uninstall from the Laravel, okay? So uh, you can see, uh, that in the last few videos that we able to uh, install uh, uh, node.js and then able to run the view.js as well and you can see that uh, we able to run view.js here uh, see here the uh, here you can see that we able to run uh, view.js here you can see that it is still running laravel mix build successful this is from uh, u.js okay if you're going to refresh uh, see here the message is coming because uh, we are displaying this message from app.js file uh, and showing it at uh, context build file okay so we are uh, currently showing the message okay so with view.js, now we want to uninstall view.js that is currently working right now, means node.js. See, uh, we are uh, running with uh, with npm run watch command and npm is the part of node.js, so that we want to uninstall, okay? So what I will do, I will stop running and uh, exit uh, uh, means uh, my project as well okay before uninstalling node.js okay and going to uh, close all the files okay so now after closing all the files uh, i am going to close my project also and uh, and see uh, i will go to the uh, control panel okay uh, i am using windows 8 so i can search here uh, going to the control panel, okay. So you can go to control panel in your system, window system as well, okay. Then I will search here. Mm, see, I will click on install a program here. You can uh, click on programs and features option if you are using Windows 7 or some other win Windows, Windows XP or some other win Windows, and if you are using Windows 10, uh, you can still uh, use install a program kind of thing in your uh, system okay so here you can see i'm going to uninstall uh, node.js okay and here you can see i'm going to uninstall this or you want to uninstall node.js yes i can simply uninstall it because i have installed it uh, with setup and now we can install it with set uh, with uninstall program as well okay so it will take few minutes to uninstall so we can simply uninstall node.js like this and after that it will be removed and, and then we can't uh, run npm command anymore or if it is still work then uh, there are uh, other commands as well uh, to remove npm to remove node.js from the system. Wait for a few minutes. Here it is saying please wait while window configures node.js. Okay, in Windows 8 it is asking for permission. I am going to click on yes. You can also click on yes in your system as well, and it is removing node.js from the system.
you can see that there is node.js node.js and this must be removed in f try and if it will not get removed uh, then when we will remove it manually and there are uh, other files there as well we are we will check after it will be finished that in program file as well node.js must be removed there is no file parent here and here as well node.js must be must not be here and in uh, users app data uh, users gupta uh, app data and here as well um, search uh, in roaming here npm this one we will remove as well because we don't want to keep so we will check first uh, if uninstall program uh, will remove all the files then it is okay otherwise we are going to remove all the folders all the files npm related node.js related files from the system okay so that we can completely remove it from the system if in case you don't require it at all okay now it is over still the files are here you can see still the files are here but we can manually remove these files okay so i am going to remove these files okay it will be created again when you are going to uninstall uh, uh, in the future so i am uninstalling npm and npm cache okay okay so i am uninstalling both the files okay so after uninstalling these files, I will check other folders as well, so that we will make sure that all the related files of Node.js must be deleted. Okay. Completely deletion of Node.js and completely uninstallation of Node.js will take some time. So be patient and and in installation as well it takes time and in un uninstallation as well it takes time means at both the cases it used to take some time Okay, now both have been removed. Now we will check once again, and there is no npm kind of file. Okay, and we already seen in program files there is no npm kind of file, and um, there is the node, and this is also uh, seems to be related with the node, and we can also uh, remove this file. Okay yeah this is the node letter file we can remove and uh, any other file you can check it out that it must not be there okay and it seems to be fine now and in app data local here as well we will make sure that node js or any other file uh, must not be there in temp as well in temp as well sometimes here as well uh, npm is not located okay so now it seems to be fine and in e drive in f drive sorry in f drive see node node js folder is already removed that uninstall uh, that has been uninstalled with the program okay now uh, i think now everywhere uh, we can able to see that uh, npm is not there at all and now 
we can check once again uh, by running the project and uh, that npm uh, is now completely removed okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, close we can close this one as well and now i'm going to run the project once again and we'll see well and i have installed in this project uh, icon 5 and 8 okay normal 5 and 8 version and now see the project i'm going to run this project php artisan serve okay see here fine i'm going to open this project in sublime once again okay it was the same command i'm going to try and uh, you can see uh, I'm going to this one. Okay, so you can see there are files where we have added a view dot js command. Okay, uh, see here. Sorry, not this file. The file js this one. Okay, it see here view js. Okay, so this one we are updating in contact create file for testing this machine. And now we are going to check once again. Okay, I'm going to run, try to run that thing. And you can see uh, in the folder in the project as well, uh, that that file uh, that we are running, uh, you can see the variable. Uh, see here the variable is coming. Uh, see here the variable uh, is updating or not. Uh, still it is updating okay so i'm going to uh, run that uh, command uh, to uh, to check uh, whether npm is there or not okay so i will run the command uh, npm run watch okay get back here npm run watch okay see here the error message is coming npm run watch i can't able to run the npm okay so the npm has been installed from this uh, from this laravel project from the complete system from the laravel project as well uh, see i can't able to run the npm command here okay so it means that uh, it has been installed we can even check the node version node version see here uh, node is not there at all it is uh, otherwise earlier on we can check out the version as well and now uh, see that version is also not uh, opening okay and you and view is the default uh, view is uh, means the default uh, uh, javascript for laravel and we can see in package.json uh, see here view 2.6.8 so uh, we will not uninstall it because we require in future but not we can uninstall and the thing that we just want to make it as default means default process means so we have done like this so view is already there but, but node and npm has been uninstalled okay so now it's fine and uh, that's all for now uh, have a nice time goodbye